There are an infinite number of places we'd like to visit in space. So where should NASA go next? Well, they have some options. They could pay a visit to a comet so they can take a sample to learn what they're made of, which could be important information to know should we have to swat one away. We kind of want to know what we're up against. Or should we take a peek at an alien ocean where it's thought the building blocks of life are prevalent? There could be something there waiting for us. That's the decision NASA has to make. Like a toddler trying to decide between two different toys, they want both, but they can't have it. It can only be one. The choice is up to NASA's New Frontiers program. Every few years or so, the program accepts pitches for ideas of places the space agency should go. There are three rules. One, they have to center around solar system investigation. Two, be able to be completed within a relatively short time frame. And three, work on a budget of about $850 million to a $1 billion. The other thing is, the pitches really can't come from just anyone. They're sent from people who work for NASA as well as people around the world who are typically associated with a university in a related field. A board of investigators look into the projects and whittle down to the ones they think will boost our understanding of our cosmic background the most. New Frontiers was granted funding in 2003 from Congress and already has several missions either presently running or completed. New Horizons very publicly explored Pluto a few years back, sending these images revealing the former planet's heart. Juno is currently investigating Jupiter, specifically things like the gas giant's magnetic fields, cloud opacity, and temperature profile. Finally, there's Osiris, which is currently on its way to an asteroid where it will land and capture a sample to bring back home. The point is to learn more about what asteroids are made of, and whether or not they're the building blocks of life scientists think they might be. So that brings us to the latest round of New Frontiers and the choice that's laid out in front of NASA. Sort of like a March Madness basketball tournament of space projects, the field of suggestions recently went from 12 to 4 and down to 2. One of the proposals is called CSER, which comes from scientists at Cornell. They want to head to the same comet that the European Space Agency visited in order to return a sample. It's a very similar project to the OSIRIS mission, but this type of information is highly valued by the scientific community. The other option is called Dragonfly, courtesy of Johns Hopkins. The people behind that proposal want to go to Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Titan is exciting because its surface has liquid methane and ethane, and it's also thought there could be a subsurface ocean of water. Dragonfly would hop around the moon looking for life in different locations. It's possible it's there, and this mission could find it. The two teams were each given $4 million for 2018 and given the year to develop their blueprints. Once reviewed by a team of scientists at NASA, the final decision will be announced in June of 2019. So where do you think NASA should go? One wants to see where life comes from and the other wants to see if there's life elsewhere. Either way, projects like these will vastly expand our knowledge and change life for us here on Earth. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're making a lot of fun stuff here at Cheddar and we hope you keep watching.